Hi. Hi. We're at the famous Petronas Twin Towers. Right, you can see it in the background. We're in downtown KL, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So we're showing you a lot of the sites that we're seeing here. So keep following along and uh, make sure to check us out. Subscribe to the blog as you go. Uh, we're going to have a lot of Malaysia content over the next uh, several months. So a lot of food, a lot of uh, visiting all the sites. Okay, we're here at the Petrolis Towers and we got lucky that the sun is in a good spot behind some clouds right now. And here you can see this is the area of town in Kuala Lumpur. And you can see there's different business buildings, the cafes, all around this restaurant of Western Hotel. This is for Saloma Center. And you look, they got some green trees growing out of the buildings now. That's kind of new. And another building going up. Always building, building, building. Star Company. So much going on here. See, there's our photographer taking the photos for the website. We are at KL Tower yeah, in Malaysia. Get a view. Cool. And we're about ready to go at, we're at the room. bottom. Let's check and it out. Syrian shawarma. Well, so we have to get tickets. Looks like tickets here. We're gonna go observation first, and then we'll do the sky level second. Okay. We might go observation. Do we? Need, do, 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 when we get up here. When we get upstairs, do we need to, how do we go to the top level? Yeah, you need to wear the... There's another line yeah. up there? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. For sky and sky locks? K05, but you go to observation, observation first. Right. Let's yep. go to K01, yeah? Okay. K01. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Let's go check it out. Thank you. And the next level, they made it better for the photos. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look at that building over there. That's amazing. It really does look cool from up here. So as you can see, we're here. Observation mode. That's Karen. We are currently we're touring the observation deck and we're going to show you what that looks like but then we're going to go up to the sky box which is a couple of levels up and get even some better shots and some better video so we're going to and see you a little what bit higher is up behind us and if you look carefully you should be able to see the petros twin towers famous towers of kuala lumpur i'm looking forward to going into there <laughs> of course they're always doing you can see everything we're gonna walk around the observation deck and then we paid for the little sky deck afterwards. What do you think that round thing is down there? Stadium, I think. So let's go look over here. Give everybody a view from the observation. I'm going to show you what it looks like from the sky deck as well. Looks like you can get all your souvenirs. Oh, it's the Stadium Merdeka. So, these buildings look really cool from up here. These really tall skyscrapers, they really stand out. So 
let's keep going. Let's show you what it looks like down below. Some of these buildings, even the shorter ones, are unique looking. Did you see the monorail? Yeah. We've, I looked down below as well. Nice. Coin flattening machines. Oh boy. Look at that thing. So this is the Golden Triangle, it's Kobo Lumpur's busiest city center. Comprises, I'm reading off the sign here, of comprises of popular shopping, landmarks, tourist attractions, business offices, and hotels. And we can see the top of the Petronas Towers, which is really cool. We were just here earlier today. So as you can see, we've got some really good shots from below and from above. At one time, those were some of the tallest buildings in Asia. Look what I found. Those are gorgeous. <laughs> I think the view from this way will even be better. You can look directly into the buildings. And let's see, this one, the Malaysian Tourist Center. We've got an even better view. The towers there. <laughs> wow, isn't that great? It's really nice. Let's look at it down the wall again. So if you come to Kuala Lumpur, you've got to come up here. This is the observation deck. I think we are back toward the Petros Towers. Oh, that's right. Closer in. I like this building that's up in front of us. Let's go see what it looks like. And what's this building called? I don't know. You don't know? I do not. It is the building. You can see it there. It's kind of good doing this block. In the background, you can see the KL Forest Echo Park, and in front of it is this very, well, very expensive looking building. I have no idea what, it, if you know what the name of this building is, make sure you tell us in the comments. We'd really appreciate it. Schools down there, of course, banks. City skyline. That is a rainforest down there. Yeah. Amazing. It's a forest echo park. What's your favorite building, Ken? The towers. The towers. The twin towers. Mm -hmm. oh, look, 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 look over here. Look, right there. That's the monorail. Oh, I want to go on that. It goes all over the city. It's hard to see it, but if you can see it, look behind that building. It, it could be stopping. So I've been doing some construction over there. And you can see there's that monorail that goes all along that way. So. Yes, that's actually stopping. Okay, we're going to show you guys a little bit more as we go further up. Oh, here we go.
the building is that? I know the name of that building. It's called Matika 118. Very good. Now you can see everything without having to look through all the windows. No, I think the other one's a little higher, but it really stands out right here because of the park. Six, nine, it's the monorails down there. Three, four, yeah. Two, one, five, seven, sky, two. Two, one, five, eight, You don't always get this kind of a view. It's amazing. There's another. Oh, we're almost to the Petraeus Towers again. Did you know you're not allowed to fly drones off the top? Huh? Why is that? That's a good question. Maybe. Do you know why we can't fly drones off the top? I figure it's probably because they're afraid they're going to fall down. It's too windy. You would end up crashing your drone. Here you get a higher view, but you can't see the bottom as easily. So if you come to KL, you can afford to do both the observation deck and the sky tower. I, I recommend you do both. But it's going to run you about 300 ringgit, so obviously it's not cheap, but I think it's well worth it. You know, the wind is not as bad as here. Is, it, as we go around, the wind's getting better. It's whipping up and it's behind us. Starbucks running. Let's see. Phew. So, okay, so you debate in the queue to go over to the Skybox. I get it. So you have to get a number to go into the... So you get a number, a queue, and then you can go into the Skybox. There's no way on this planet you're going to get me to go on that thing. Well, I'm just going to walk over to go to the other side. I can do that. I should hold the railings. I'm going to go over. Thank you. Oh, so the restaurant. Oh, great. Cafe, I love you. Hey, cafe. Nice. Hi, we're at the Sky Cafe. Having something cool. I'm having Hagen Nas chocolate. I'm going to have vanilla iced coffee. And enjoy the wonderful view. As you can see, we're here. Um, they have a special seating. If you if you spend 90 ringgit, you get to see, sit in the, what they call the preferred sitting area. In the red velvet. The red area. velvet chairs. I'm not sure if they're more comfortable, but they're fancier. Oh sure, they are. The other ones are metal. Okay, well this is softer on the old tushy. Yes. I could. I like that. it. I'm getting older now, so I like that. This is a good way to end the tour. I think so. So thank you for following along. KL Tower, welcome to Malaysia. It's and been a great journey. It's been a great journey all the way to the top. And we'll see everyone next time. Cheers.